Hi guys, welcome along. Happy Wednesday. Hope everybody's having a fantastic week so far. So if you watched my video on Monday, you will see that I started a new venture. If you didn't, I've linked it here. I'm not sure it could be here, but it'll certainly be linked down below. So, so I thought I was going to start using my Wednesday videos as a way to talk about what it takes to be a business owner and everything you need to know about owning a business. For today's video, I just wanted to get real with you because being a business owner is really difficult. So I just wanted to be real before we talked about anything technical. So let me tell you a little bit about me so that you can see why I feel qualified to discuss these things with you. I have been a business owner for around, I think my anniversary will be 12 years in February. And it has been a very interesting ride. I left university in 2006 with my law degree. I went to work in law, hated it. And I do mean hate. So my mum, she'd worked in health and social care for all of my life. And she was forever complaining about the quality of care being given to her clients and the way that the staff were treated. And it wasn't just one particular company, it was industry-wide. And given that I despised the law, I decided, I pitched to her, why don't we start our own company? She was into the idea, but given that I had the legal background, I was the one to fill out all the forms, jump through all the hoops. So I... I have been through the ringer with starting a business. So I do feel qualified to tell you we've been in business successfully for quite some time now. And I, and through these regular videos, I'm excited to help you on your journey, wherever you might be in that journey, because it might be the fact that you've got your business, you've started and you're at a pivotal moment in your business. Because sometimes I know, I know I've found you can be guilty of working in the business instead of on the business it's so easy to get trapped inside it and also it's so easy to not see the wood for the trees when you're in the business so i'm hoping that i can be a helping hand in that way so the thing i wanted to touch on the most today was how being a business owner can be an incredibly lonely place as much as it is, as it is fabulous um, and it gives you so many benefits and privileges and things like that it's still very very lonely no matter how much money you make how many staff you've got helping you you're still ultimately you're on your own at the end of the day that is of course unless you've got a business partner with you but still you're you still feel on your own so I remember when I started the business, I would really struggle at night sleeping, especially around Christmas, because I just kept having the thought that my staff are relying on me. And so I remember lying there one night and I just couldn't sleep thinking, if I fail, that's their Christmas ruined. If I fail, they could not feed their children. If I fail, they could end up homeless. And it put so much pressure on me. It was, it was hard. It was like having the weight of the world on your shoulders. And I didn't know at that time that there's so many resources out there to help you so that you don't feel like that. It's so easy to get lost in these moments that if you do take it in all by yourself, you, you're going to drown, you're going to drown, no doubt, because it's it's so overwhelming, the feeling. If you're hitting a rocky patch in your business, it could even just be as simple as a complaint, but you don't know what to do because obviously the book stops with you. And if you don't know what to do, you don't know where to turn. It is such a lonely, lonely place. So being a business owner is not for the faint hearted. It is definitely not all glamorous and making money and going to parties and networking and schmoozing there is lots of that involved but it's not all that and the the bad sometimes really really does outweigh the good so you have to be careful you have to be prepared you have to be prepared for how hard this is going to be it's worth it but the hard times are so bloody difficult that 
at the time it won't feel like it's worth it. The good part about being a business owner though is that when you do have them wins, when you have the money coming in, when you win them clients um, or when you win that piece of work or you sell whatever, whatever it is you're selling, it's you, you know you did that and the feeling is just amazing. Like there's nothing like it, you've succeeded. And, and every time you get a new set, a new sale or a new client or make it through the next year, you, you know, I did that. I did that. So it does feel amazing. It's just that when you're going through the rough patches, it's really easy to forget the, the really, really good stuff. That I think, unfortunately, and we're all I, we all should be working on this, but I think it's human nature. You always forget the good. You forget the good so easily. So my advice is, you know, when you have them good moments, remember them. If you can frame them, frame them. Frame your first sale. Frame your first year. Frame your first return, so that you can see how well you did. It's um, or frame your first pound note. Frame your first five pound note because that's the smallest they do now <laughs> or whatever. Just try and remember every single bit of just try and remember every single win because it means so much and it's so easily forgotten. So don't let that happen because remember and that will get you through the bad times. It really will. So when you're dealing with the bad times. You need to have someone to lean on. Like I've got, I've got amazing people around me. I've got amazing staff around me right now. But in the beginning, I didn't have that. I had family and I had friends and every single one of them was a cheerleader. Not one of them said, oh, Jack, I don't think you can do this. Like I may have said it in my brain from time to time when I was filling in the multiple forms I had to fill in. I remember thinking, have I, have I got what it takes to do this? Have I? Um... But not one person around me said, Jack, no, no. Every, you've got to surround yourself with the right people. Have cheerleaders, have people in your corner, have people you can rely on and who know how fabulous you are. Because that's definitely something you'll need. You'll need that from beginning to end. I can't stress how important it is having them people around you. It's so important. When you're having bad times, they're there. And they might not know the answer, but just being able to say these things, like I said before, sometimes you can't see the wood for the trees and it doesn't take someone in the industry to be able to say, well, can't you just do this? But you're thinking you're in the business, but it sometimes it takes someone outside the business to go, mm, what about that? And half of the time this has happened to me, I've gone. And then sometimes you'll put a block up because you think it can't be that easy. But it is. I suggest any new business owner does is they look for someone for mentorship. Now, mentorship is, I think it's a bigger thing in the US than it is here. But if you've got someone who's been in business for a while, it doesn't even necessarily have to be in the sector you're in. In fact, probably it can be better if they're not in your sector because there'll be no like conflict there. But if you've got someone who's been in business for a while and who can walk the walk and talk the talk, then you can go to them for these questions before you even make the mistake. Or if something's rearing its ugly head and you can see it back there, you think to yourself, hmm, I'm going to run this by such and such. And again, it's another person who's not in the business who can see the wood for the trees and they can give you the little heads up, at least give you some ideas of how to deal with it before it comes. So ultimately, what I want to say to you is it takes a strong, strong person to run a business. It really does. It takes someone who doesn't mind constantly being pushed out of their comfort zone. Someone who's got a strong sense of self. It takes someone who's got a fantastic team around them whether that be friends and family or an actual team and um, because it can be the best ride of your life but it will also be the hardest so i hope that was helpful guys like i said i wasn't going to give you much um technical information and all that today i just wanted to introduce myself let you know why i thought i was qualified and sort of give you the heads up about what it takes in the beginning strong sense of self the most important thing 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Ring the bell to hear the notification for when I post my next video. I will next see you on Monday for an interiors video. Bye, guys.